If you're planning on assembling your arcade one-up machine yourself, this is what you're going to be looking at when you take everything out of the box. It's roughly, I think, 22 pieces, not including the hardware. And you're going to start building the box first. I'm going to find part G. This is how it's going to look. I'm going to put these four dials in the holes. Next, we have part D. So this is how it should look. And we have some holes here. And we're gonna place G in there like so. You do this, you see these right here, that line, you want that line facing the hole. If that line is not facing the hole, you won't be able to get the bolt in and you won't be able to tighten it in. You need to make sure those are going in the right direction. And we got our line down here because when we close it up, that's going to be the backboard that's going to slide in that, that groove right there. Now we have K, K, and L. We're going to put the four wooden dowels in the sides again. Just check your orientation. All right, so now we have our K, K, J, and L. You got your Ks. They're going to go here. You got your J. You're going to go here. And you got your L, you're gonna go here. And this is where we have at this point. If this is your first time assembling this, you probably wouldn't notice or think about it. You have these two holes here. So you have no holes there. You need to make sure this on both sides have the holes on this side. So when you put on the game board, you're good to go. Next, we have part A, which is actually our display, the screen. And we're going to attach these brackets here. And as you see, we have pre-drilled holes. These are the screws we're using. And they're going to be like that. And this is how it should look once it's complete. So place part D in this orientation here then you want to get your display and you're going to place it right in that groove and put the C screws right in those pre-drilled holes and this is what you should look like once that's done so next you want to get part M and part B with dolls and they're gonna go here and here get your bracket there your two screws here and this is what we should look like now and you're gonna take B here, and as you see, you got your holes there, and you're gonna screw that in there. This is how it should look completed. And for now, I'm gonna use these holes to put these pegs in. And when you do it, you want to make sure you know you got your Mortal Kombat and your speakers all pointing in the right direction. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. So that's it in place. Make sure you have your wires so they get plugged up over here. Now we have part H. Take note of the notches. And we're going to slide this in 
like so. Now we're in the front and we have parts I and N. And they're gonna go here and here. And of course, the self explanatory this is being the front, but the notches, they sh need to go this way. And you should be looking like this right now. Now we're ready to add the other half of the box. But before we do that, we're going to attach this piece here to this one. Okay, we have our other J attached to part E. Now we will flip this over, make sure all the dials are in the proper holes. And after we do that, we'll use these screws to close it up. Okay, at this point, nothing is screwed in. Um, I just made sure I had everything in. So we have a nice closed box. Um, in my opinion, it's best to do that first. Sometimes you want to put a screw in and tighten it up and think, oh, that I'll hold that in place. But it really can um, damage the, the board and things can crack and break. So it's better to make sure it's right before screwing anything together. Now we can stand our box up and we're going to attach this side over here. Now remember this part was down so we couldn't put the screw in there but we're going to do that now. Next you want to remove this because you're about to put on the control deck and when you put that on it falls down here. So you won't be able to get the plastic off. So you have to do that part now. Let's come around the back here. Just take this tape off. Roll it up to the front and we have our control board. It's gonna plug in right there in here. Now that we have the board plugged up, the holes we showed earlier, that's for right here. All right, you don't want to make this super tight, just enough to hold it down. There is a difference. Now we're at the back of the machine. We have our um, music volume, you know, things like that. You have your power here, and this is for the lights on the machine. So you got your lights, get your sound. So we're gonna extend the power on this one because of course we do have the backboard and I'm going to show you guys how that goes here. It's going to come out of that hole, this piece here. And it's just a simple switch. So we're going to use these three screws to screw in the backboard. We're going to use this, this, and this hole here. And your groove here. So it's all nice and even before screwing in. And from this point, the actual box, the machine is complete. As you see, it's very short. So we're gonna add the riser to bring it up a little bit. Show you guys what that looks like. So here are the parts that makes up your riser. So first we're going to, these wooden dials, they go all over 
these pieces. So we're gonna put those in and uh, show you guys what's the next step. So we have our wooden dials and the parts we need them to be in. Then we're gonna set the box up. Just want to show you guys the final orientation before I screw everything in. You got your RR, your RP. The thing we have to do now is to put in these supports. Now with your machine sitting on your riser, you can drill it in to attach it so you don't have to worry about anything tipping over or anything like that. Now I'm done. Enjoy your Midway Classic Arcade by Arcade 1UP. Wants us to mount this, and we're gonna mount it directly across. 